What's going on YouTube? And I'm back with another visual from your boy Original. Today we're going to be discussing my top 10 pickups of 2020. I'm so excited to let you guys know what I picked up. You can kind of see right here what I picked up. So come with me as I show you my top 10 pickups. <laughs> start with my top 10 picks for 2020. We're going to start with the honorable mention. I actually picked up 14 shoes this year, but I'm only going to review 10. Actually 11. And we're going to start with this one right here. So these are the Lucky Green 13s. Lucky Green. The nice green on there. I like these. Genuine leather. Tumble. Lucky Green 13, honorable mention. And let the count begin. Number 10, guys. I'm gonna start off with the Indigo 12s. Navy blue, white. Kind of resemble the obsidians. The only difference between these and the obsidians is the fact that they don't have the white laces. And this is like an indigo blue, as it says on the box. It's not really too much of a navy blue. And you, as you can see, it's not so dark as the obsidians would be. It's a little lighter. These are nice. Number 10, guys. On to the next one. Pine green one, guys. These made it to number nine on my list just for the simple fact I prefer the other ones with the green, the ones that have the sail right here. I prefer those ones, guys. I, I kind of bought these off impulse. I'm not going to lie to you. But they're mine now and I got to live with them. Pine green one, number nine. On to number eight. These are the Air Jordan 4. Neons. If you see any resemblance between these and any other sneaker, it's the Air Max 9795, excuse me, which is one of my favorite sneakers, man. I really like those Air Max 95s. Neon, OG. They did a good job executing this shoe. Which shoe do I prefer? I think I prefer the, the original, the 95, but they did a good job executing this shoe, and I cannot wait to pull these out. This shoe is predominantly suede. Laces are 3M. Pillow tongue. Nike Air on the back. Shoe is hard. On to the next one. Okay, guys, on to number seven. Flint 13, guys. Navy blue, gray, and white. Leather on the toe box, suede around the heel, and some type of mesh material on the medial and lateral side. I'm happy I picked these up. When I'm gonna wear them, only Lord knows when. On to the next one, number six, guys. Number six, gold metallic one. Predominantly patent leather, whole shoe, gold check, black laces, black outsole. Yeah, these are um wondrous, guys. Will I break these out this year, 2021? Probably not. I might give you guys a chance to um, rock yours and beat them up. Then I come back out with mine. That's how we do it over here, guys. On to the next one, number five. 
Number five, Fire Red Five. <laughs> yeah, these made it to number five, guys. Fire Red Five. Whole upper of this shoe is white, genuine leather, white laces, metallic silver tongue, red lining on the inside of the shoe where you place your foot. Icy outsole, along with back, red jump man, black toe cap, and best part, Nike Air on the back. You guys comment down below and let me know what you prefer, fire at five or fire at four. On to number four, guys. Look at what number four is, guys. And I did not do this on purpose. This is just where they fell along my list. These fell at number four, guys, and it was not on purpose. Fire at four. White laces. Red eyelids along with a black wing eyelid. The midsole on these has red, black, clear air bubble, Nike on the bottom of the shoe. Bottom of the shoe reminds me of a Nintendo controller. Let me, go, let me know what you guys think. Shout out to Eddie Wynn for that one. Nike Air on the back. And this is number four, guys. On to number three. Okay, guys, number three is the Black Cat Fours. What you guys think, man? About my number three. These could have made it higher, to be honest. But my number one had to make these number three. Um, there's nothing better than an all-black shoe that you can wear with anything. That's what these are gonna be. Um, I haven't broke these out yet because I I picked up the all-black anthracite foam posits, so these can sit for another year before I break them up. Like I said, these can be worn with anything. If you're a sneakerhead, this is a shoe that must be in your collection. Everything all black, besides that jump man under there. Again, number three, guys. On to number two. Okay, number two, Dark Mocha Jordan 1. Brown on the heel. It's kind of like an off-white outsole. Black leather around the toe cap. White toe cap. White tongue. Black laces. They come with sail laces as well. I'm keeping my black ones in there. I like them better with black. Black outsole. Sorry, I called the white outsole. I meant the white midsole. Black check. They call these the poor man Travis Scott's. I don't agree with that. <laughs> um, but I'll let them have what they want to have. I'm not paying a thousand dollars or a thousand plus for those Travis Scott's. I got these retail. And the prices on these are skyrocket skyrocketing. So you want to talk about poor man's Travis? These are gonna be the same price one day. It's number two, guys. On to number one. Grand finale. Okay, y'all, the moment you all been waiting for. Number one, off-white Jordan 5. Yes, I got them. Were they easy to obtain? No. Did I pay resale? Something like that. I know someone who knows someone who knows someone and they made it happen for me. Um. I couldn't even tell you. I'm so happy to show you guys these shoes. I'm, I can't even tell you what these materials are made of. This looks like some type of mesh material. I have not worn these yet. Yellow outsole. Wow, these are beautiful. The thing I like about these the most is the fact that they, they look aged, so they're going to stay looking aged. Comment down below if you guys have these, or if you want these, or if you like these. I like the sale ones as well. I'm gonna see if I can make that possible this year. If I can get the brother of these and, you know, keep them home. Well guys, this is my top 10 pickups of 2020. 
I hope 2021 is just as enlightening for me. Um, I pray that everyone is doing good. I thank you guys for subscribing, watching my videos, and showing your support. Um, I, I plan on giving many giveaways this year, many raffles, and thank you.